Hello there, I am Giant Girl with more Pokemon Leaf Green Redo. In the last part, we took on Misty of the Sewing City Gym, and we took on the two trainers before Misty. We got our Cascade Badge, got the Team with the Water Pulse. We also um, confronted a Team Rocket Grunt that stole TM28 Dig, which is a TM that teaches um, Pokemon the move Dig, which is actually pretty, cool, pretty decent in this part of the game. I'll actually be using it on one of my Pokemon as a whip. And it'll be a final move in their moveset, that's pretty cool. I won't spoil who it is yet, but when the time comes, you guys will know. Okay. Yeah, um, you can also start guessing right now if you want. <laughs> there aren't many, um, bugs out here. Yeah. It's not the Viridian Forest, you're right. So this is Bug Catcher, uh, Kigo. Or, I'm gonna just say Kigo because I don't, really don't know how to pronounce that name. K-E-I-G-O. I think it's Kigo. Sounds like that makes sense. Let's go for the Mega Punch, hopefully it'll hit. Okay, it's gonna use Poison Sting, it's a Weedle, level 16 male. So, yeah. This Weedle is gonna try to do something crazy or something. Let's just pound next. Let's get a String Shot to lower Trouble Cuff speed by one stat. Or a speed stat by one. There we go. Nice, let's just pound, it hits, awesome. I should get Trouble Cuff to level 20. So that's pretty cool. Trouble Cuff upgrade to level 20. Yeah. Catchers, but it's not Caterpie. I'm gonna actually switch over to um, Airbender. To use Caterpie, this one's level 16. Dang, you must have pressed B, the B button at least maybe seven times. So I thought your Caterpie couldn't even evolve into Metapod at first, but level 10, it should evolve into Butterfree. Jeez. Not Tackle, I didn't mean to use Tackle. Jeez. Oh well. I meant to use Gust, but. One more tackle should faint anyway. It's gonna use string shot on my airbender to lower its speed step by one. Okay, let's just tackle again. Okay, this may be enough to reach the airbender to get to level 22. There we go, nice. Cool. That's awesome. Weedle, okay, I'm gonna stay in with airbender. And we're gonna use gust on this thing. There we go, it's level 16. Goes down one hit, awesome, one hit KO. It's always great. Yeah. N no, you're kidding. Thanks for the. Oh yeah. Yeah. Thanks for the dollar ninety two cents, man. Okay. So I know this camper right here has a Squirtle, so I'm gonna switch over to Giant Green. Yeah. There we go. What's the? Who is there? Quit listening in on us. I just want to battle you, and your Squirtle. I think it's level 20 when it comes out. Yeah, it's gonna probably be level 20. Yeah, the Squirtle. Yeah, level 20. Okay, cool. I have an Ivysaur. Let's <laughs> just Razor Leaf on this thing. Razor Leaf hits. This shouldn't. This could be a one hit KO. This could be super effective. Yeah. There we go. Defeated Camper Ricky, I believe is his name. I can't. I just can't win. Next for four dollars though. Well, I keep on trying. You'll do. Better next time, I guess. Let's go over to um, Trouble Cuff again. Now let's talk to this picnicker. I didn't mean to go back to my Pokemon list, sorry. Okay, there we go. Excuse me, this is a private conversation. I just want to battle. I mean, you guys are Pokemon trainers, right? You, you can't say no to battle if I talk to you nicely and ask for a battle. <laughs> okay, she's gonna send a route to. I forgot to read her name, jeez. Okay. Let's go for the um, Mega Punch, I guess. Just quick attack on us, okay. It's not very nice. You get a quick attack on us. <laughs> there you go. Make a punch. Makes the thing faint. Cool. One hit kill. Pikachu. Nice. Okay. Let's just make a punch on this Pikachu. This Pikachu might be a little bit harder. It's level 16. It's female. Let's get a thunder wave on us. Okay. It's not very cool. Make a punch hits though. Might take more than just one mega punch though. Or yeah, it'll faint. Nice. It's awesome. Wait, feed picnic or Nancy, that's your name. Nancy. Okay. Ugh, I hate losing. I'll keep on practicing, it'll get better. Thanks for three dollars and twenty cents, Nancy. <laughs> okay, so this bug catcher has a um I think it's she has a butterfree that's like level twenty. So switch over to Airbender. There we go, he saw me. I never seen you around, are you good? Of course I am. I got two gym badges right now. I'm a good, I know how to battle. But catcher Elijah. Okay. Set that butterfly. I think it's level 20. Yeah, there we go. 
What if we sprite in this game looks pretty cool? Let's just guess on this thing. There we go, I did over half. Awesome. One more gush should do it. Thank you for supersonic missing. <laughs> That's good for us. That way it render doesn't get confused. Critical or awesome. Here we go. 685 experience. Wow. Okay, you're too good. Thanks for two dollars and four cents. Thanks for the compliment. I know I'm good. I'm very confident and stuff. Okay, here's another picking a crew. Let's take her on. Well, me? Well, okay, I'll play. Okay, yep. You'll play? Picnic Isabel, okay. Sent out Pidgey. Okay, Pidgey versus Pidgey Yoda. Let's use Gus on this thing. Let's get his Gus back, okay. It's not gonna do as much though. But yeah, let's use one more Gus, it should faint it. There we go. Awesome. Picnic Isabel sent a Pidgey again, another Pidgey. Okay. She's guest on this thing. Let's get his quickie duck on us. So this one's also a female on level 16. Let's finish off the quickie duck, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Critically awesome. There we go. Another Pidgey. Let's use Gust on this thing and then use another quickie duck then. And it should go down. That's my plan. Let's get his tackle on us. Ooh, critical hit. Nice. Yeah, you got your own critical hit. Well, it's not nice for us, but I was happy that you also got a critical hit because, you know, those things are cool. But it depends on, for me, it's not cool for us. But I admire someone who gets lucky with a critical hit, I guess. Our Bender's now level 23. Nice. We defeated Picnic at Isabel. This just didn't work. Okay, yeah. I think this camper right here next has a cat, uh, not a caterpie, but a radicate. So I'm gonna switch over to giant green. Okay, let's talk to this camper about or him, I should say. Huh? You want to talk to me? I guess we can talk and battle. <laughs> nice. So this is camper Jeff. He has a sparrow, okay. Level 16 male, okay. Let's go for the tackle, I guess. There we go, does over half, awesome. That gets gonna be super effective and a critical. Ooh, it's not a good combination for us. There we go, the spray goes down though. That's enough to get Giant Green up to level 24 though. And Kemper is about to send Rad Kemper. He is about to send out um, Radicate Kemper Jeff. Okay, let's use Raise Leaf on this thing. It hits, awesome. It's always good. I think it's going to faint because I could have quit. It was level 16 male. But yeah. That's all she wrote, really. We defeat Camper Jeff. This stinks. I couldn't beat your challenge. Sorry, man. Better luck next time. Thanks for $3.20, though. Really appreciate it. Here we are in Vermont City. Also, I'm in here. I'm going to heal my Pokemon, of course. But if you talk to the uh, cool trainers that's uh, right in front of the counter at the Pokemon Center, she'll give you the VS Seeker, which is a very important item. If you want to like rematch trainers, uh, you can uh, use the VS Seeker then. The urge to battle with someone you've t tangled with before. Have you ever had that urge? I sure have. I wanted to battle certain people again over and over too. I think a motorcycle just went by, so a microphone probably caught that up. Could pick that up, actually. I'll read the line again. I wanted to battle certain people again over and over, too. So I've given these away. Please take one. We get the VS Seeker, which is nice. It's a key item, of course. Use that device, and you'll find trainers looking for a rematch. You have to change, charge its battery to use it, though. Yes, by taking a amount of steps. A certain amount of steps. If we go to the house to the left of the Pokemon Center and talk to this fisherman guy, he'll say, I'm a fishing guru. I simply love fishing. I simply love fishing. I can't bear to go without. Tell me, do you like to fish? Of course I do. Grand, I like your style. I think we can be friends. Take this and fish, young friend. We get the old rod from the fishing guru, which is like a rod just to get match card, basically. Like a 100% appearance rate of magic up, I believe. And maybe a slight, actually, appearance rate of getting like a tentacle or something. I know in later games you can also get tentacle with the old rod. 
but it's like less, it's way less common than always getting than getting a magic carp, you know, because it's always very common for the old rod just to get a magic carp. Anyway, fishing is a way of life. Um, I man, I clicked at the dialogue and I didn't read the bottom part of that dialogue. Dang it! From the seas to rivers to go out and land, go out and land the big one, my friend. Yeah, with an old rod. I don't think that's really the best way to put it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's go to the Pokemon real quick. I don't think there's anything I really want to sell, but I want to make sure. Except for, like, of course, you know, nuggets, but I don't want to sell my nuggets right now. The remainder of my nuggets, at least. Let's buy some stuff then. Buy. Okay, we're good on Pokeballs, actually. We're good on Super Potions, Antidotes, Pearls, Heals, Awakenings. Let's buy, like, two more. Well, one more, actually, because we used one, I think, in the previous part or whatnot. Ice Heals. Let's buy, like, one Ice Heal. Cause you never know when uh, you'll get frozen, your Pokemon will get frozen, so yeah. Also, let's put some more repels too, before you actually exit the mart. It's about like 5 more I guess. But yeah, we should be good from that. Yeah. Just want to keep our um, money so it doesn't reach max money and we forget and then like we get award money from after an that from another trainer battle and then we it doesn't really matter because we already have max money then I want to keep the like balanced. So let's organize the ice heal and move it actually up in the bag. Burn under the burn heal, yeah, cool. So th in this house, you can talk to this girl and she wants a sparrow for and she'll, if you have a sparrow, she will give you a she will trade you a far fetched, which is pretty cool. This is, the far fetched is really just good for your Pokedex, really. I think this is the only way you can get far fetched in the game. So yeah, through this trade. Hi, do you have a Sparrow? Want to trade it for my Farfetch'd? I do not have a Sparrow, actually. I might do that this trade off screen or something when I'm trying to catch more Pokemon from my Pokedex. But not right now, actually. I don't have a Sparrow, sorry. At least not right now. Let's just talk to this uh, elder dude right here. I, I chair the um, Pokemon fan club. I raise more than 100 Pokemon. It's very... I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon, I surely am. So, did you come to hear about my Pokemon? Yeah, of course. Good, then listen up. My favorite Pokemon Rapid my favorite Rapidash. It's cute, lovely, smart, plus amazing. You think so? Oh yes, it's stunning. Kindly love it. H hug it when sleeping warm and cuddly, spectacular. Ravishing. Oops, look at the time. I kept you too long. Thanks for hearing me out. I want you to have this. We got the bike voucher from the chairman. Nice. Yeah, we gotta put it in the cam's pocket. That take that um, bike voucher to the bike shop in Suwon City. Exchange that for a bicycle free of charge. Don't worry, my favorite po my favorite Sphero will fly me anywhere I need to go. So I don't need. So I have no need for a bicycle. I hope you like cycling. I do actually, at least in the game. Uh, in real life, I can actually ride a bike, but I can only, like, only ride it on flat ground. But in plus, it's been a while since I've actually uh, rode a bike, so like I might be like I might not be able to balance on it right away as 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 I used to, or not be as good as balancing on it as like I used to. But yeah, I can I can ride it on flat ground. And I, but if I ride like down or up a hill, I can't really do that because. I just, I, if it's not flat ground, I kind of just fall off of it, really. If I go, like, up or downhill, and that's not good. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna, I'm gonna cut back to Suwon City. I'm gonna be in front of the bike shop, and uh, we're gonna exchange this bike voucher for a bicycle. So, see you guys in a second. Okay, right here, here's the bicycle shop in Suwon City. Let's talk to the guy at the counter again. Oh, that's a bike voucher. Okay, here we go. We get the... Okay, we exchanged the bike voucher for a bicycle. Put it in the cam's pocket. Thank you. Come again sometime. Hey, do you like... Hey, do you like your new bicycle? Do you like how it rides? You can take it out on second road and even into caves. Nice. So, I'm gonna actually put the bike voucher... Not the bike voucher, but um, the bicycle... I'm gonna register it with the select button, and what this does is I go to register, any key item pocket, you can do this uh, key item, not key item pocket, it's in the key items pocket, but you can go to any, like, um, you know, key item pocket, uh, item in your key item pocket, go to register, and you have that little select button there, that means that, like, you can press the select button, in my case, Z on the game controller, like that, and, um, just quickly access that, um, key item, which is really nice, 
It's very helpful. I, I know in like way to Pokemon games like X and I think it started like a black and white actually. You could actually register four different key items at once and just use like um select and then uh press up or down left or right. I think it had to do with like D-pad. Depending on which four four you selected, I think you had to access it through the different areas on the D-pad. I could be wrong, but I know you can actually access more key items in the later Pokemon games, which is pretty cool actually. I'm gonna heal up real quick. Wait, uh, I'm already at full health. I think I already am. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna come back to Vermilion City. Vermilion. Vermilion City. There we go. See, so yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, here we are back in Vermilion City. And as you see, the gym is right there, but um, we can't really get rid of this tree yet because we don't have the gym for cut. So what we're gonna have to do is we actually go back on the SSN. I think I said earlier, and um, when we saw Bill and uh, whatever part we just saw, man, I think it was like part seven, if I would guess, if I were to guess, that um, we get that um, HM01 cut at um on the SSN, which is pretty cool. And down here is the SSN actually, but I here's the dock and everything, but uh. I want to actually go through Diglett's cave and stuff and um, actually get the next part member. I'm hoping, yeah. Um, but I'm going to do that next part. So this has been the my Pokemon Leaf Green video walk to get part. The next part we'll take on Diglett's cave. We'll get the next party member, which I've already said is like Mr. Mime. But we have to get through a trade. That's why I have my Abra that I caught for it. So that's pretty cool. So yeah. And then we might do other stuff like train on this route. I think this is route 11 that we're on right now. So yeah. So this has been then my Pokemon Leaf Green Redo Walk the Get Part. Next part we'll just do that. Like I said. Okay. So yeah. So this has been Janko again. I would like to thank you for seeing you again. Goodbye. And I'll see you guys next time. Pokemon Leaf Green Redo Walkthrough Guide. <laughs>